Yo, what's going on guys? Um, so, after training up, I got my team ready, and I messed up. I goofed. Not gonna lie to you guys, I messed up bad. <laughs> You're gonna see, uh, I got my bag, go over, I have no potions. I use them while grinding. Not knowing that I didn't have any more money, um, yeah, I probably could go sell my sunstone. Isn't too bad of an idea. So, um, I changed my controller settings from last time because in the video I could hear the clicking and I could probably get pretty annoying, I understand. So, what I did was I changed them around so hopefully you guys don't hear it and if you do, hopefully it isn't as bad. But, we're gonna buy three of those. Um, $100, I can buy one more. We'll sell one Pokeball. Picked one up, uh, over by the museum or the whatever it is. I'll show y'all in a minute. Uh, it's three hundred dollars for a potion. Okay, go ahead and sell one more then. I'm not trying to sell all my pokeballs. Uh, buy a potion, buy one more. Okay. Um, yeah, that extra pokeball that I found was right over here. And I'm gonna try to refrain from using. It was right there or there, there, something somewhere around there. Anyways, I'm going to try to refrain from using the uh, speed button at all, because after this gym I get the uh, running shoes. So, to look at my Pokemon real quick, uh, I did train them a little higher than normal, and yeah. So I got Sabo level 14, who learned Smog, and real quick, the reason why I got them higher was because his Bullpix is the complete definition of a troll. What it does is it will put you asleep, it will use Confuse Ray, and then it uses substitute. So, yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> then I got Lord, who evolved at level 16. Uh, she didn't learn any new moves, nor did she try to. So she still has the same uh, attacks. I have Nadine, level 15, who learned Poison Powder and Sleep Powder and Confusion because I evolved it. Um, she did learn Paralyze, or what is it? Uh, poison, no. Sunspore, maybe, probably. <laughs> she learned the powder move where it puts paralyzes on. I'm pretty sure it's Sunspore. Uh, Matt, I didn't really do anything with because I don't see us really keeping him that long. Um, then we got Sparky, who gained level 15, who learned Swift. And I'm pretty sure he had Karate Chop last time I was with you guys. I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, Miley, level 16, who tried to learn Super Sonic, but it has like. 15 accuracy, so I wasn't gonna have any of that. Um, then we have. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Oops. I switched my controls, like I said, and so I'm still trying to get used to them. <laughs> so sorry if I mess up like I did there. I just completely misclicked. Um, who do I want to start this out with? Not Sabo, that would just be a free death right there. Uh, I'll start out with Lord because right off is a Geodude, and I'm pretty sure a double kick will knock out a Geodude. And if it doesn't, whatever. That's the trainer's honor I compel you to challenge me. Find it. Show me your best. Oh, I'll show you my best, alright. Um, <laughs> Geodude is first, and Lord should be able to take this out with a double kick. Nope, I was wrong. Rock Tomb shouldn't do too much, not nine. Lowered my speed, which can be bad, but we'll switch out after this. So we hit it with a double kick, did not go it, uh, should still be faster, thank god. Okay, there's a kill. Um, Almanite. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Sparky on this one because it is water type and rock, but I believe it's still super effective. Not sure why, but, you know, whatever. I didn't go in one shot? Oh no. Oh no. That, okay, he didn't heal up for some odd reason that we're not going to question. Okay, I leveled up there. I don't know if leveling up takes away your speed reduction or your stat reduction, per se. But if it does, that would be awesome because leveling up there is just perfect, pretty much. Uh, I'm going to hit it with a thunder shot. Hopefully it kills it. Wow, I can Oh, no. Okay, I I was scared right there. I'm not. I don't know quick attack anymore. I should have forgot Leer. Oh, well, I'm still faster than it. Thank God. Oh, my Lord. I don't know how. Onyx. Onyx can be a problem. Onyx is pretty fast. 
Uh, Lord should be able to outspeed it though, and if it does, double kick will get. <sighs> Swagger is just as annoying as Swag Fags. Ah, uh, I kept myself, and then it uses Dick. And then I'm gonna hit myself again. Oh nope. Okay, thank God. Uh, Onyx is coming out. It's gonna use Dig. I'm gonna go into Nadine. Now it does not hit me. Uh, I'm gonna try to put this thing to sleep. Actually, I am going to put this thing to sleep. And the reason why Butterfree has some ability where it just doesn't miss those for some reason. Uh, I'm going to switch into Lord here. And hopefully it stays asleep for at least this one turn. Maybe one more turn, hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you. I'm going to hit with Double Kick, which does nothing. Wow. That can be bad. And then it has an orange berry, I think, or a citrus berry, which is just as bad as he uses dig. I should have predicted that and switched into Butterfree. But, you know what, it's fine. This battle can get really annoying really quick. <laughs> um, it's going to use Rock Tomb again, so I want to go into Miley, actually. Let's see what Miley can do here. It's going to use Rock Tomb, and it missed. Oh my god, that is big. Swagger miss too. Oh my lord, thank you. Wow, I did half and I got a speed fall. Hopefully I'm faster. Yes, Smiley killed Onyx in two shots. Thank you. That's not what I was worried about. Next is probably gonna send out Rhyhorn. Yep. Um I'm gonna send in Nadine just because I know that I'll hit with sleep powder and I know I'll outspeed it because Nadine is just beast like that. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if I will outspeed its um, Vulpix though, or his Vulpix, which is kind of scary, but it's okay. Come on, get Confusion Hex. Okay, it didn't wake up, thank god. It's going to use a Lemonade here, which can be bad. Um, it's probably going to go for Rock Tomb when it wakes up, so I'm going to switch out here and go into Miley. I'm predicting it to wake up, which is a good prediction, because if I would have taken a Rock Tomb there, that would have been horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Um, his Rhyhorn does know Flamethrower, by the way, so if anyone's playing and you have a Grass-type, it knows Flamethrower. <laughs> Vulpix now. Um, we're going to predict that I outspeed Vulpix. No promises here, but... Okay, we did outspeed Vulpix, which was... which is great. Um, cannot explain how happy I am that I outspeed. Hopefully I can get some Confusion Hacks off before it wakes up. Because if I get it confused... Oh, okay, one more should Oko it. Oko it, please. Please. Ah, oh my god, we just took out Brock. I'm sorry I was over-leveled, guys. But if you play Fire at Omega, try to fight Brock with a level 14. As your highest. I mean... <laughs> without getting one of those starter Pokemon, like Mudkip or anything like that, you can just try that. Let me fix this real quick. Let me fix that. Hopefully that did a little bit better. Maybe. Hopefully, I don't know. Um, anyways, got the Boulder Bash now. I can use Flash, and I'm pretty sure he gives me a Rock Tomb. Um, I'm not sure who can learn Rock Tomb on my team. I'll find out real quick if anyone can. I bet. Um, I'll probably get to the cave this episode. I'm not sure if I will go through the cave this episode, depending on how fast I get through all of the people. But yeah, next is going to be Misty though. So I am going to have Sparky evolve before we fight Misty because Misty can be in the, like in the anime in the first uh, episode and first like three episodes actually. She can be a bitch. A complete, total bitch. <laughs> Not trying to be mean to Misty. If any of you guys or girls do like Misty, she's okay but she, you have to admit she's a bitch. And yeah. <laughs> If you guys can, go ahead and uh, let me know if you guys can still hear the buttons or, you know what, if it bothered you or not in the first one. If you want, just comment and tell me. Um, right here, we're finally going to be getting the running shoes, thank God. Oh, I'm glad I'm caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been told to literally you this. You're Professor Oak's aide, and you're bringing me shoes from my mom. Huh. Gotta go talk to my mom about what she's been doing with Professor Oak. Then, run a marathon. No. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and try and teach uh, Rock Tomb to somebody real quick. I'm not sure. I hope. Uh, nope. I was hoping Matt could learn it, but apparently not. 
which would have been great because he needs a move badly. He doesn't really know anything at all. Uh, Thunder Shock is Pidgey. You should just go go it. Yep. Uh, Taylo, we're gonna just stay in with Sparky and just another Thunder Shock. Oko that Taylo. <laughs> um, these trainers aren't gonna be hard at all compared to how Brock just was. Brock was a pain in my ass. I mean, he has destroyed my whole team at times, just with his Vulpix. Because, like I said, puts you to sleep, confuses you, turns into a substitute. So if you wake up from confusion, or if you wake up from sleep, you're confused. If you do have the chance to hit it, you hit its substitute. And at the time you hit its substitute, it puts you back to sleep. <laughs> That's how annoying he is in this stupid game. Like, 10 out of 10 most annoying trainers in the world, <laughs> known to man, is just insane. I could not handle it. I was so upset. Um, luckily, Confusion does not attack Sabo. Which later on in the game will come in handy if I make it to Sabrina. I've never made it to Sabrina and Fire Red Omega doing a Nuzlocke by myself. Like, ever. Like, not when I say by myself, I mean like, uh, off screen because this is my first Nuzlocke putting on YouTube. Because I've never done a Pokemon on YouTube before. And, I mean, I watch Hardy Check Yo-Yo. I watch Hayden, which I hope Hayden does another LP sometime. Um, I watch... Uh, Hoodlum's Crafty, who is really good. Um, I like his episodes because they're really long, and I can just sit there and watch that, you know, while I eat, while I do whatever. I mean, I'll try to make mine. I'm gonna try to make these episodes about 20 minutes long each, 25 somewhere around there. Just I'm gonna I'm gonna set a goal for myself, and if I whenever I make it to that place, uh, then I'll go ahead and end the episode. Or if I need to grind, I might just pause it and then grind up, or I might end the episode and grind. I don't know. It just depends on, I don't know, like, what mood I'm in, I guess. But most of the time, I'm going to be just making a challenge for myself to get to a certain point in the game. And then I'll go ahead and end it. Um, after this battle, though, guys, I gotta pause it. I gotta go run and do something real quick. Um, just, I'm gonna just watch out everything with Stabo real quick, probably. Silcoon, I mean, looking at trainers, if you play Pokemon for maybe, like, long as I have. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you play Pokemon a little bit, you can understand what trainers usually have what type of Pokemon, like, just by looking at their, uh, character in the game, because a lot of them dress up differently. Like, the girls usually have, you know, normal types or flying. The bug catchers always have that, uh, a little hat on, so you can tell that they're gonna have bugs ready. That's why I'm just switching up accordingly. Sabo needs to learn a new move. Like, I don't think he learns Flamethrower until, like, 43. <laughs> it's gonna be really bad. I'll do one more real quick. We'll go ahead and fight this other. See, like this is a bug trainer. This lady has a uh, Pidgey or a normal type. That guy down there, I know what he has, but just looking at him, he looks like he has like a Rattata or probably just a Rattata. But I know he has a uh, Spearow because I played this game. I don't even know how many times. I lost count probably by now. Honestly, probably couldn't even count that high because Lord knows I can only probably count to about like. Well, I have ten fingers, so it's probably about ten. I don't like counting my toes. It's kind of weird. I mean, if you're into that, hey, all for you. But I don't, I don't know. I don't judge here. There's no judging on my channel at all. <laughs> Anyways, uh, she's kind of. Or he's gonna sit on an Encada. We're just gonna go back into not Nadine. We're gonna go back into Sabo. And Sabo's just gonna one shot this because I'm pretty sure it's quad effective because it's metal or steel and bug. So. That thing is just roasted. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, I'll be right back. Hey, right, guys, so I'm back. Um, anyways, I completely forgot where I was. I'll uh, have Sabo in front. Sparky. Um, Sabo isn't going to really do anything in the next gym. So, yeah. I don't know why I've been training him up so much. Um, I do love Houndour. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. My favorite, though, is... Uh, given past, since my past name was Pikachu, it's not my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Pikachu is just really well known, and I wanted to symbolize myself, if that's even a word. Uh, Pikachu was symbolic, because Pikachu is very well known. I wanted to be very well known, you know. You say, 
Pokemon, people instantly think of Pikachu first, probably, and then probably Charizard afterwards. But the thing is, people think Pikachu whenever you say Pokemon. So I wanted people to think uh, whenever, you know, because I was a pro gamer at one point in time, I wanted people to think pro gamer. <laughs> I wanted them to think of Pikachu. I wanted me to be number one spot, you know. I mean, I'm not going to give up that pro gaming dream yet because I'm still young, pretty much. Uh, I think Nate Shots in his like 20s or something like that, and he's out there pro gaming, you know. So, I mean, hey, I'm not even 20 yet. Why can't I do it, you know? Uh, I do hope to get a team together soon. I have a sponsor already set up who said he will sponsor us if we do get to go pro. Um, I just need better people to play with, man. Everyone that I play with, either they have good gun skill with no callouts, or they have callouts with no gun skill. Like, I was playing with some people the other day, and he was like, oh, he's right behind you. I turn behind me. I shoot, because that's where he said he was. No one's behind me. He was to my right. There is a complete distinction between right and behind you. I was like, man, are you kidding me? <laughs> and then they go out and say it was my fault. So I was just like, ah, okay, whatever you guys say. I mean, I, I'm not going to disagree with you guys. I got a new route. That's route three. And go catch a new Pokemon for y'all real quick. I tend to say for you guys, um, for me too. Hopefully I get something good. It is a Hoot Hoot. Um... Do I even need a flying? I do. Huh. Hoot Hoot can come in handy then. And I Noctowl is great. I'm not gonna try and knock Noctowl because Noctowl is amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Uh, nope. Push the wrong button. Uh, uh, okay. There we go. I caught Hoot Hoot. Um, I don't know what I want to name this Hoot Hoot. I mean, I heard the Spizzles named his Helen Keller. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Um, Knock Towel, we're gonna go ahead and name it. It's a male Hoot Hoot. It's gonna be a bird. What would I name a male bird? Um, I don't know. His name is Hoot Hoot, so this is what we're gonna name. Oops, okay. Oops. Oops, nope, don't want to do that. Wow, I just deleted that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to name this Swag Swag. <laughs> oh, nope, don't want to do that. There we go. Let's name is Swag Swag. Why? Because why not? It's in the death box. <laughs> swag Swag went to the death box where it probably belongs for having a name like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, I just realized that. Um, anyways, I made it to where I said I was going to make it to, but I want to throw Hoot Hoot on our team because he's going to be way more useful to us than somebody. These are bolts in the death box, which they do not belong there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw Medusa in there. and <gasps> Excuse me, sorry guys. We're going to throw Swag Swag in here for... Probably Hound Hour, even though I was just saying how much I love Hound Hour. No, I need him to fight Gary, but Gary is still a ways up. So uh throw out Poochana because it's Poochana. We don't really need that. I'm gonna go get some repels real quick. And one of the Nuzlocke rules that's just kinda like a hidden rule is that you're not supposed to use repels to get through like caves, uh the electric power plant or places like that so you cannot get legendaries what i'm going to do in this cave is i'm going to use repels to get to the uh first steps that you get to go downstairs because the catching is different there and i don't want to be like oh well, i'm just going to use the pinwheel claws because well the pinwheel claws was made up by hardy tech uh yo yo i don't know if it was made up by him but he's the one that announced that name for it what it is, is whenever your Pokemon gets paralyzed, or, or, no, not paralyzed, what am I saying? I'm sitting there looking at paralyzed hills. Um, what it is, is if there's one Route 3, and then say you go through a cave, there's another Route 3. If the, um, uh, catchings are different, like there's different Pokemon, like say the first Route 3 has Rattata, Pidgey, and let's say that's it. And then the next one has, like, Jigglypuff and Sparrow. Those are two different catchings on different routes, so... We're just going to use those two for the pinwheel claws. 
Um, I guess I can use the Pinwheel Claws here because I know you can catch uh, Geodude, Zubat, and Solrock. And then going up through it, you can catch like Larvitar, Slugma, and Numo, or Numo, however you say it. Um, so I am going to use the Pinwheel Claws there. Let's see what our first Pokemon is. It is a Geodude, which I am completely happy with. Uh, I think it can take a Karate Chop just because it's level 15. Yeah, I took that amazingly well. Um, I'm not liking this. Who's out there, though? Let's throw Miley out there. I mean, I don't know if it knows a ground type move yet, but... Okay, so you're going to troll me and use that as a ground type? Really, do, dude? Okay. Okay, bro. <gasps> and Miley just one-shots it. Thank you, Miley, for being a complete fuck-up. Which, I mean... Come on, guys. We all, we all saw it coming. Don't, don't fool yourself. Ever since Hannah Montana, we all we all just saw it. Like, as soon as Hannah Montana was done, we were like, this lady's gonna go nowhere. And she went nowhere. She didn't fool any of us. You were fooled by her. I'm sorry. Kind of funny in one of her um, episodes that she was like, no, because girls that act like that are nothing but trash or something stupid like that. And now look at her. <laughs> I mean, after she acted like that at the VMAs, there is reason to make fun of her. Don't hit me five times. Don't hit me five times. Thank you. Peck did literally nothing. Okay. Um. The most awesome battle of all time is about to happen. Beedrill versus a Butterfree. But, we're going to put you to sleep because Butterfree has compact eyes. Pretty sure that's what it's called. I know earlier I said it has that one eye thing, but I'm not... I'm not super smart whenever it comes to Pokemon and their logical terms. I knew it had compact eyes, I just had no idea what to call it. <laughs> you know what, I should have sent her out whenever I had to fight that Geodude, but whatever. Okay, this is where I'm going to find the other Pokemon. And then I'm going to go back, heal up, and in the episode, but let's let our power off. Okay, let's see what it is. It is a Larvitar. Thank you. I could not be any happier with this. This is exactly what I wanted. Holy hell, that scared me. Okay. That, that scared me. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you, Larvitar. Oh my god, this thing just nearly scared me half to death. Whoa. You know what? Um. Yeah, we're just gonna name you Monster. Because... You scared the hell out of me, and two, whatever it evolves to a T-Tar, turns into a monster, y'all. You know what? Never mind. I got a better idea. We're gonna, we're gonna delete all that. We're gonna just name it for its um, T-Tar name, because this thing is becoming a T-Tar. It is not dying on me, ever. Yeah, we're naming it Godzilla, because it kind of looks like Godzilla. I am giving it's not as big as Godzilla. Oh no, I named it Godzilla! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Godzilla. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that name. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. We're going to change our team up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and battle her real quick. Come um, Next episode, guys, I'm probably going to battle all these trainers in here. And we're going to get through this cave. I'm going to probably pause the video mid. We're going to fight Gary. And then we're going to... Maybe, it depends on how much time we have, we might go through, um, wow. We might go through those, uh, the bridge, the five people bridge or whatever to win the nugget. We might, depends on how long it takes me to go through everything, and I'm in love with this stupid Clefairy. How do you fall in love with that thing? I mean, it's all short and cute and adorable, and it has amazing, you know what, never mind, don't, don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> anyways, we're just gonna cry each other thing right in the face, smack, bitch. Kidding. She's not a bitch. She can be a very nice lady. Just kidding. Everyone knows compared to the four. Um, let's go up here. Oh, that geo could have been very useful for um, LT Surge. Wow, I just realized that. Let's go ahead and use Godzilla in place of Hound Hour. I guess Larvitar is so amazing. I mean, look at his eyes. His eyes just like yo, fight. <laughs> Um, I don't know who I want to use him for. I mean, I really do love my team right now. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and switch you out. That'll be fine. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to just heal up real quick, and we're going to end the episode. Um, until next time, guys, I did switch my name on YouTube. I figured out that I can do that, so now it's Hydro. 
And, you know, you guys can be Hydro, uh, Pikachu, Rehab, whatever. You, oh, I think there's something right here. Oh. Oh. Yep, it's a prison berry. Anyways, um, until next time, guys. I'm out. I'll see y'all later.